Let's look at an example of multi-nozzle boom sprayer calibration and for this situation we're going to use a liquid fertilizer. This fertilizer is a 15-0-0 analysis which means it's 15 percent nitrogen by weight and it's labeled rate of application looking at the actual product on the label and what it says to apply six fluid ounces per thousand square feet. Now, when calibrating a multi-nozzle boom sprayer, one of the easiest methods of uh, calibration is what's called the 1 1 28th of an acre method. And with this method, you have to have a uniform spacing of nozzles on the sprayer boom. In this case, we do. We've measured them, and we've got 24-inch uniform spacing of nozzles. And using this information in this table, we'll determine what the course length is that allows us to cover an area of 340 square feet. 340 square feet is 1 1 28th of an acre. And if you've got 24 inch boom nozzle spacing, you'll measure off an area of 170 feet of course length. You'll run your sprayer at a consistent speed and pressure down that 170 feet uh, long course length and you'll determine how many seconds it takes you to go from point A to point B. And for the purposes of our example, it's 39 seconds. And 39 seconds in, in how we have this set up works out to be approximately a 3 mile per hour speed. And remember, 3 miles per hour is roughly about 4.4 uh, feet per second. And this is just information to let you know where this this speed approximately came from here. We're not going to use it in our calculation, but that's what we've determined is 39 seconds is required to go from point A to point B to, to cover a 170 foot course length. Then we take that known time, 39 seconds, and we'll capture the sprayer output from a single nozzle. We do that, we collect it for 39 seconds, and we have captured, for our purpose of our example, 40 fluid ounces. Since this sprayer, uh, using this 1 1 28th of an acre method, when we use this approach, 40 fluid ounces uh, will equal the amount in gallons per acre that is being delivered by this sprayer, since it's on the basis of 1 1 28th of an acre, and there are 128 fluid ounces per gallon. So 40 fluid ounces that we capture from a single nozzle tells us that this sprayer, keeping everything the same in terms of speed, and uh, pressure is calibrated to deliver 40 gallons per acre. Okay, so the sprayer is calibrated. Now let's figure out how much of the material, the fertilizer, is going to be needed for uh, a full tank. So first of all, how much area will a full tank cover? Well, we look back up here in our information. We've got a 75-gallon spray tank. It's calibrated to deliver 40 gallons per acre. So if I take 75 gallons and divide that by the 40 GPA, what I'm going to get is 75 divided by 40 gives me approximately 1.9 acres, okay, is what a full tank can cover. And what we'll usually do is convert acres into square feet. So 1.9 times 43 560 square feet that are in an acre gives me roughly 82,764 square feet. And that's how much a full sprayer tank, how much area a full sprayer tank can cover, 82,764. Now, working with our calculations we have discussed in previous training modules, uh, how to use proportions. And we've got some information up here in which we can use to set up a, propor a proportion. And remember that proportions are nothing more than expanding or shrinking relationships. And in this case, we're going to use six fluid ounces of fertilizer is recommended by the label to be applied per thousand square feet. And if we're going to mix up a full tank of solution containing fertilizer, well, how many fluid ounces of that fertilizer would that be in order to cover, and remember this number right here, a full tank, 82,764 square feet. So the units on top and bottom have to match fluid ounces, fluid ounces, square feet. 
square feet, so this is a fair proportion to make. We cross multiply, divide, and solve for x. Okay, we get 4, 9, 6, 5, 8, 4 equals 1,000 times x. Divide both sides by 1,000 to solve for x. And we end up here with units that are 496.6 fluid ounces is what is going to be required to go in the full spray tank. And what we'll usually do is divide this by 128 fluid ounces that are in a gallon to convert this number to gallons. So 496.6 divided by 128, we need roughly 3.9 gallons of this 1500 fertilizer to go in a full tank to deliver six fluid ounces of the product per thousand square feet. Now, what if we only had 20,000 square feet to treat? There'd be no point in making up a full sprayer tank. So let's again look at some possibilities for proportions, which we can use to determine, well, how much water will we need in the tank and how much of the 1500 fertilizer will we need in the tank in order to deliver six fluid ounces of product per thousand square feet. Okay, lots of ways to go here. One is, again, we know that 40 gallons per acre, 43,560 square feet, is what this sprayer is calibrated to deliver. Let's proportion that out to how many gallons would that be if we only want to cover 20,000 square feet. And again, you check your units, gallons, gallons, square feet, square feet. So this is a legitimate proportion. Once again, cross, multiply, divide, and solve for x. Get 800,000 equals 43,560 times x. Divide both sides by 43,560 to solve for x. Okay, and you end up with an answer of x equals about 18.4 gallons is how much your final spray volume is going to be in the tank in order to cover 20,000 square feet. Now we still haven't determined how much fertilizer is required to go into this 18.4 gallons. So let's do that next. And again, we're just basically going to repeat the steps that we've done here, except for we're going to use only 20,000 square feet in our proportion. So six fluid ounces of 1500 is to 1000 square feet as x fluid ounces would be for 20,000 square feet and again everything matches up fluid ounces on top square feet on the bottom cross multiply divide solve for x we get 120,000 equals 1000 times x, we divide both sides by a thousand, and we get a hundred and twenty fluid ounces as our answer, and that's a fifteen zero zero. And again, if you want to determine how much that be in terms of a gallon, 120 fluid ounces divided by 128 fluid ounces that are in a gallon, and this is a little bit less than one. It's approximately nine zero point nine four gallons. In a real world practical application, you probably would take one gallon of material and uh, add it to the tank and bring the final volume up to roughly eighteen and a half gallons, and you would be delivering right at six fluid ounces of fifteen zero zero per thousand square feet.